Hello! Today I am sharing 15 life-changing laundry hacks that will save you either time, space, or money in your laundry room. I'll be honest, laundry is not one of my favorite things to do, but we have to wear clothes in our society every single day. So laundry is just never ending and keeps piling on up. So I have learned these hacks over the years on how to save time doing my laundry and preserve the items that I already own so I can save my coins to spend on other stuff. Let's jump right into the hacks and we will start with how to get more life out of the items you already own. First, for the last few years, anytime I buy towels for bathrooms, I only buy white towels. In my opinion, they're easier to maintain, easier to keep clean. Every few times that I wash the towels, I throw in some bleach with them and they look brand new again. But after a few years and repeated washes, I've noticed that my towels can get this yellowing effect, yellowing color that kind of makes them look old and dingy, which isn't what I want. But I have found a way to counteract the yellow and it is this blue laundry dye here. I will have it linked in the description below along with anything else I suggest in this video. But blue is the complementary color to yellow. I just learned the word complementary color. I, I didn't know that. I understood why it worked, but I didn't know the word complementary color. So that's a new one that the smart ones out there probably knew, but complementary colors are basically just the opposite color on the color spectrum, so they help cancel each other out. And now I do this with my towels. A little bit of this blue dye cancels out the yellow and you have bright white towels again. Also noting here that Tide and other blue laundry detergents work too, but I can't find a fragrance-free blue detergent for my eczema-prone skin, so this is my hack to keep brilliant towels. Then for my non-white towels that I bought a million years ago that we still keep in our guest rooms and we use for our kids, this is how I clean those items to prevent them from getting that mildewy smell. We all know that smell, and towels seem to be the first thing that grabs onto that mildewy odor and starts to really stink. And the last thing you wanna do after you've cleaned yourself off in the shower is dry yourself off with a stanky, moldy smelling towel. And this smell can be hard to get out of towels. When I was in college, I remember thinking that adding more laundry detergent was the key to get the smell out. And that can actually exacerbate the problem. Do not do that. Adding too much laundry detergent can actually create too many suds in the wash and those suds don't wash out and then hold on to the smells and make the whole problem worse. So to kill the mildewy smells, this is what I do. There are a few steps to this process depending on how strong the mildew smell is. The first step is throw the mildewy towels in the washing machine per usual and do not add any laundry detergent to the load. Just add one cup of white vinegar to the load and wash it on the hottest cycle. Once the wash is done, throw in the dryer and let it dry per usual. Once it's done drying, sometimes this is enough to get the mildew smell out. Smell the towel. If it still is a little bit stinky, wash number two should be the key to getting the mildew smell out. Put all the towels in the wash again. Don't add detergent once again. And this time add a cup of baking soda to the wash instead of white vinegar. Wash it on the hottest cycle again and then dry it once again. This time, the smell should be out. If it's not something more sinister going on, I would just toss the towels. Next, we are moving to preserving your clothes. Always wash clothes on a cool cycle when possible. It will help save energy, prevent further wear on your clothes, and reduce potential shrinkage. Next way to preserve your clothes, any items that you really love and you want to last for a long time, wash them inside out as that helps reduce pilling on the outside of the clothes that you want to show off and look nice and new. I like this sweater. I got it at Nordstrom's and I always wash it inside out and you can see that the inside part that no one sees is the side getting all the pilling whereas the exterior that everyone does see has very minimal pilling as long as I wash it inside out. And if your favorite shirt decides to pill out and look scraggly anyways, get one of these fabric defuzzers. I got mine off of Amazon. It has saved so many shirts for me. My shirts get pilly so fast. Maybe it's because I don't buy like super high-end clothing, but I probably am never going to buy super high-end clothing. So I'm glad that this fabric defuzzer 
helps me preserve the low-end clothing that I buy for longer so that I don't have to buy so much. Next, if you have a small laundry room, these space-saving hacks are for you. First, my number one suggestion really for any laundry room, but especially small laundry rooms, is to get these laundry strips. When you buy standard liquid laundry detergent or pods, the actual amount of chemicals in each bottle or pod is pretty small actually. A vast majority of what you're buying in those big laundry jugs is just water. Plus the big plastic jug that it comes in like isn't super great for the environment. These laundry strips are just way less visual clutter, take up barely any space, and work just as well as the huge jugs of liquid laundry detergent. The only thing I'll say and add in, because I wanna make sure everyone can have a good experience with these laundry strips, if you have a super high efficiency washing machine that barely uses any water, you may need to first dissolve one of these strips in a little cup of water so that it basically becomes liquid laundry detergent and then throw it in. Because if you don't do that and your machine barely uses any water, there may not be enough water to fully dissolve the strip and have it work. So just do that in advance and you're good. Space saving hacks for laundry baskets are these foldable fabric laundry baskets. This is what I used back when I lived in a much smaller apartment. I liked them because you could fold them completely all the way down when not in use, hang them on a wall, just shove them behind a dresser and they barely take up any space. But I'll be honest, I don't really use these fabric foldable laundry baskets anymore now because I live in a house full of smelly boys and smells tend to cling to fabric. So if my boys were playing in the mud all day or my husband worked out and got all sweaty at the gym, if they're throwing all their very soiled clothes in these fabric bins, I felt like the fabric bin got really dirty. There wasn't really a great way to clean them. So now we stick 100% to plastic laundry bins just because if really soiled clothes go in a plastic laundry bin, I feel like those are so much easier to wipe clean so that as I'm pulling clean clothes out of the dryer, I'm not sticking them in a disgusting soiled fabric basket. I feel like that was a long explanation when it didn't have to be. But also my last tip on the laundry baskets is we used to have a whole bunch of different sized and shaped plastic laundry baskets for different things and I have consolidated to only having the same exact plastic laundry bins throughout the whole house. So if any of them aren't being used, they can all stack together. We can keep them in the laundry room out of the way and they don't take up a lot of space. Next hack, just in general, is getting a lint garbage bin for your laundry room so you don't have to take it all out to the kitchen, throw it away there like I was doing for a little bit too long. It seems like an easy hack, but I just make my life harder than it needs to be sometimes. But added bonus tip to this is get this lint trash bin that you can actually affix to your wall. Again, perfect for smaller laundry rooms if you don't want a trash bin sitting on the floor taking up what little floor space you may have in your laundry room. This one that hangs on the wall is for you. Next and maybe most important, the time-saving hacks. We can always make more money, buy new clothes, maybe upgrade our laundry space in the future, but we can never get our time back and the clock is always ticking. So for me, as someone who feels like I never have enough time in the day, these time-saving hacks are what are most important to me. First, have multiple hampers in your home and a system for those hampers so you never need to sort clothes. Plus, do laundry by person and soil level. Let me further explain all of that. Here are the four laundry bins we always have going on in our closet. The two gray ones here, this one is mine and that one is my husband's. These are for our normal soil level clothes that are washed the same way, but again, we separate them by person so that when it's time to put away, it's very easy for me to put all my stuff in here and for him to put all of his stuff over here. Then we have our white towels. Then we have my husband's active wear oh, this is acting weird right now 
We have my husband's active wear that is sweaty, disgusting, gross. We don't want to cross contaminate over here because we do a little extra to wash these clothes so that they don't stink. So they go in their own bin. I have my own hamper because I don't really go work out that much. I know I should. If I do, my workout clothes go in the same one as my husband's, but that doesn't happen very often. So I just have one hamper for myself that I always wash on the same type of cycle all the time. Cold cycle, one little laundry detergent pod or strip, and we're good. Editing this video right now, and I realized I forgot to mention how I do my kids' laundries. Fortunately for me, theirs is really easy. All three of my boys all wear the same exact size. So all of their laundry is treated as one and they have their own normal clothes bin. When they get really dirty, the dirty laundry hamper is just the floor of our laundry room until I get to cleaning it. And then their towels all go in its own hamper together. So the laundry room floor for dirties, the hamper for regulars, all their clothes go in one, and then all their towels go in one. But if you're not as lucky as me in that regard, and you have different kids who wear different clothes and the different sizes, wash their clothes separately once again so that putting their clothes away in their respective drawers is easy. Just overall, the theme for everything is do whatever you can to not have to sort clothes on laundry day. When you're taking off dirty clothes and putting them in hampers, that is when you're already pre-sorting everything just so that it's easy to dump basket by basket into loads without any further work. Next, we don't sort our clothes lights and darks. I, As I mentioned before, we do have the white pile, which is pretty much mostly just our towels and my husband's undershirts. Otherwise, all the clothes, go in at the same time, lights and darks. Every so often, depending on the load, I'll throw in one of these color catcher sheets just so that the really dark items don't die or damage some of the lighter shirts or lighter items. And these color catchers work great. I have not had any issues with damaged clothes I don't ever sort my lights and darks. Next, when it comes to putting away clothes, I actually do take time to put away my clothes nice enough, but anything I can get away with not folding, I take advantage of that. For example, here is my cube storage. I do fold some things nicely, like I like seeing all my leggings, so I have those rolled in this divided bin here. Same with my matching loungewear sets. I have four that I keep in here. Two of them are obviously in the wash, but I will roll the set together and put them in here so that I can always be wearing a matching set, but some things just don't need to be folded, like swimsuits don't need to be folded. This random workout gear doesn't need to be folded. On my husband's side of stuff, his, any pajamas, don't care if they're folded. Random t-shirts that he wears around the house don't need to be folded. Anything workout related, I mean, this stuff, it's not even possible for it to wrinkle. So who cares whether we fold it or not? All of our nice shirts are hung. Same on my side, nice shirts are hung. Jeans and pants are hung so they don't get all wrinkly. But if it doesn't need to be folded, why why would I fold my swimsuits? Everyone knows where everything is, but the clothes that don't really need to be folded because they don't really wrinkle or they're undergarments that no one even sees, those don't need to be folded. We don't need to waste our time with that. And we can still walk out of the house looking good. Then with my kids, I know some people think this is controversial. I have shared this on my TikTok before. It's actually one of my most popular TikToks. Shameless plug, go follow me over on TikTok. But this lazy mom hack is the best hack I have ever implemented in my life. And it is the no fold method for my kids clothing. So my lazy mom hack is I just don't fold my kids clothes anymore because truthfully my three-year-old could care less that I do not fold his clothes. I still put everything away. For example, all the t-shirts go in here. This one has been sitting in the drawer in the no fold method and their clothes don't even get wrinkly. So who really cares that it's not folded but put away in the proper drawer so they can find their clothes in the morning. All their jammies go down here. Who cares if jammies are a little wrinkly? It saves so much time and you can spend that time with your kids. I used to fold and hang all my boys clothing all the time and half the time they would end up just like throwing out all the clothes that I had nicely folded. And then one day I just decided clearly they don't care. But yeah, their clothes just go in their appropriate bin unfolded and I don't think anyone knows that 
I don't fold their clothes because they still walk out of the house looking totally fine. If on the very rare occasion, a shirt is super wrinkled up because maybe it was shoved in a ball on the very bottom of the bin, I have the downy wrinkle releaser right on top that I can quick do a couple sprays, kind of press out the wrinkles and then it looks fine again. And those are the 15 laundry hacks you need to know. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps with the YouTube algorithm. And then click on one of the other videos floating over the screen at this point. I have cleaning videos, shopping videos, so many different types of videos, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.